For 500 years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. Its armies scattered foes before them. The strongholds of proud tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war. From the forests of the north, to the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath the standard of their legions. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew rich. But empires, like men, grow old. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the Empire's tricks and devise new ones of their own. Until one day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. Then comes the Civil War. Pitting all against all. A time of hatred. A time of suffering. But also, even in the worst hours, a time of courage and defiance. As new leaders arise, from new places and new peoples, to turn back the tides of destruction and bring forth a new world from the ashes of the old. This is Marvel. He was born of noblemen. There has been a war since the day he was born, and when he came to age, he became a soldier alongside his brother. They tried to get their family out of harm's way, but in doing so, they came across raiders who killed their father and had their way with their mother. When they had the chance, Marvel and his brother fought them off, not noticing that their raiders ran off with their brother and sister. In three days now, we've been I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue our brother and sister? Are we up for a fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. Are we ready to leave here? Well, we're here, I guess. So, we need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. The head man here can probably help us. Let's try to find him. I'm Orthos, head man of this village. What brings you here? They got your people too. Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. We think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who'll join you in going after them if you'll pay for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I may have a task if you're going after the raid.
that way! Shields up! On my flank! I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. I was with a caravan, and they just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed, without any water, and I was just about ready to drop. I could feel the signs of heat stroke creeping up, and I told them, but they just flogged me more. If your group hadn't come along, maybe I have a way to thank you properly. I'm afraid I haven't seen any children, but after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they call Radagos, took and rode off with our more valuable belongings, including a chest that I had. And since I have nothing of value left to repay your help, I'll tell you this. If you do catch up with and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value if you knew where to sell it. I was trying to find out more about it, but, as I say, I've had all my urge for travelling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. It doesn't look like much, and I suspect this lot will give it away for a few coins. But I got... So, who 
Who's this that comes through my place? Good heaven. I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them off to a slave market, I know, though. Since your hunt for your kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? E Well, I recognize defeat when I see it. If I'm going to be your captive, let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos. You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. Ah, oh, you'll need my help, all right, if you want to get them back. Alive, that is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there's a rescue attempt. Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some river, that's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cosy palanquin now, but you best not make it too hard a trip for me. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. I found this strange looking metal piece though. It doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact Acteos was talking about. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. I have a better idea. We would have a better chance if we split up now. I'll take Radagos and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free the children. However, we must be careful not to endanger their lives, and it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that, though. I'll need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. Indeed. You'll have to find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help. Takteo said it could be worth a fortune to the right person, if you manage not to get killed. If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value and how it can be sold. One more thing. When you are talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure you present yourself as someone from uh, a distant but distinguished family. You can use our family name if you like, or make up a new one. 
you will have a better chance of obtaining an audience with nobles, and it'll be easier for me to find you by asking around. Get on the road now. Once I locate the little ones, I'll come find you.